Hi, Nancy. How are you doing? Hi, good. How are you doing? I'm doing really well, actually. Um, uh, you know, obviously, this is a bit crazy with, you know, me being in the jungle and now doing promotional stuff for the film. But, you know, I'm super proud of, of what I've accomplished and, and uh, you know, just take, making the most of this kind of once in a lifetime opportunity. I admire you because you pretty much strip to the core to open up about so much about yourself, super vulnerable. What was the toughest part of the documentary that you would say touched you when you watched it? I have to admit that when my little brother came out to the jungle, that gets me every single time. Um, you know, now he's not so little. Uh, he's actually uh, in college and, you know, doing uh, animal management, actually, kind of following in the footsteps that uh, I've kind of like led with him. Um, and so, you know, I was away from my family for such a long time. It was very, very difficult. You know, I uh, sacrificed a lot for these animals. But at the same time, when they came out, that made me, you know, the happiest person. And uh, to see it in the documentary definitely brings a tear to my eye every time because, you know, they're my world. I love how you talked about these wild, beautiful creatures as saving you. You saving them, but saving you. But I feel like most of all, they were saving you. It's, it's a very hard one, honestly. Um, you know, being in a combination of nature with wild animals, um, for me personally, I was obviously struggling with a lot of demons. And uh, they definitely gave me the motivation and they definitely gave me that drive to keep being, you know, a good person and to keep following my dream and so you know even though that they needed me when they were younger I definitely needed them the whole journey. Now there's a part of the documentary that makes me you kind of makes us as a viewer kind of curious but obviously we know the outcome of losing Khan. Um, we don't get to see exactly what happened can you talk a little bit about that? You know the dangers of the rainforest are are crazy um you know you you're not only in an area of danger with wild animals with snakes um you know you have so many dangers but the biggest danger is humans a lot of people ask me what was the thing you are most scared of and a lot of the time it was people um you know logging and poachers traps and you know just trying to take animals to the wildlife trade is such a complicated and hard thing to try and um to try and contain you know it's it's never going to be able to get stopped um and so one of the hardest things honestly was uh dealing with his loss and knowing that it wasn't the fact that it was natural it was unnatural since that experience how do you see saving the wildlife so i actually just started a non-profit called emerald arch you can find that at www.emeraldarch.org and so i have started this to continue my dream and continue my passion and what we want to do is raise money from our 501c3 nonprofit to raise funds so that we can buy ecuadorian amazon to save it from uh oil companies and deforestation not only is it just to protect land and to look after it but to also um work with uh scientific research and and with different animals if they need it but also to give a safe space to people with depression, PTSD mainly, we're going to look at a veteran retreat so that people can come to the jungle and have time to reset because nature is the most powerful healer. And I know that sometimes people just need that break so that they can really understand what their path is. Well, thank you so much for your time and sharing so much. And it was a pleasure to speak to you today. I was super surprised and super happy about it. Thank you very much, Nancy. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Of course. Take care.